So, I've, I've already used the term positive coaching. Let's talk a little bit more about what that means. Um, and let's start by thinking about what might be the opposite of positive coaching. What do you think? Negative coaching. Negative coaching. And what does negative coaching mean? What, what, uh, what do we see and hear from a coach that makes us think, oh, that's, that's not a positive, that's a negative coach? Anything that conjures up negative emotions from a, a kid that you're coaching. Okay. Yeah. Constantly telling them what they do wrong? Isn't that our job to tell them what they do wrong? Is it? Not constantly. Not, not, not constantly. Not everything should be wrong, 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 wrong. There should be some rights mixed in there. And some, some attaboy girls in there too. You know, the stuff that you talked about, you know, the, the, the grabbing the face mask, coaching through fear and intimidation. At Positive Coaching Alliance, the language we use to describe the opposite of a positive coach, Let's see if any of you have been through a workshop before can help me with this. Do you remember the term? Win, it starts with win. Win at all cost, okay? Oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes those behaviors that we see as negative from a coach, oftentimes they stem from a win at all cost attitude, okay? And inappropriate emphasis on winning. Now, I don't want you to misunderstand. I represent an organization that embraces competition. When you take that field, help your, help your boys and girls win every game. That's part, of, that's part of what we want you to do. Pursue victory. But there's a difference between pursuing victory and giving it all you've got and win at all cost. There's a line that we want you to stay away from. So, um, answer this one. Let's, I want you all to answer this one together, nice and loud. What's the goal of a win at all cost coach? Win. win. To win. All right. So, interestingly, interestingly, that's the first goal of a positive coach. A positive coach wants to win also. So, a positive coach is similar to a win at all cost coach in that regard. What separates them is the second circle. A positive coach's double goal has a second and even more important goal, and that is using Little League Baseball, using the sports experience to teach kids life lessons. Lessons that apply on the field, off the field. Lessons that apply while the kid's transitioning from sixth grade to, to junior high, and lessons that apply when we're in adulthood with adult responsibilities. The beauty of double goal, oh, before we go forward, life lessons. That's another term I think we've got to take a look at. What do we mean by life lessons? What are some of the areas your ball players can grow in this year besides baseball technique and strategy? Dealing with failure. Dealing with failure. Beautiful. Keep going. You got a lot of them nice. wall right here. Okay, all these up here. Nice. <laughs> all these up here. Can they, can they learn responsibility this year? Can they Absolutely. learn a little bit about that? Can they little bit, learn a little bit about caring? How about courage? Huh? Getting up there behind home like, at, at bat with everybody watching them? Big guy on the mound who throws a little faster than we'd like? <laughs> yeah, that, that takes some courage. Okay? <laughs> that life lesson circle is rich and deep. It's an opportunity. What a shame when that opportunity gets pushed aside because of the tunnel vision focus of a win-at-all-cost coach. The beauty of double goal coaching is that you don't have to choose one or the other. We think that the two goals support each other, complement each other. The more your, your kids learn this stuff, the more likely they are to win baseball games. The more they compete and strive for victory, the more those life lesson opportunities come to the surface. And the truth is, sometimes the two goals collide. Occasionally they do collide, and a choice has to be made. A, a positive coach, a double goal coach in that situation will choose teaching the right life lesson over their desire to win a Little League ball game. Can you give me an example this year where those two goals might collide for one of you? 
your get uh, I don't know best hitter on your on your team. Best hitter that, on your uh, team talks back to you as a coach, and, uh, <laughs> and you're losing by one point, okay. and you got two men on. <laughs> Guess what? Sometimes you got to sit them down. And it's always the best player, isn't it's always it? The best and player. That's always, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, you know, a win at all costs coach is going to approach that a certain way, mm -hmm. and a double bow coach is probably going to approach it a little different way. Good example. What about when it's your kid? Tell, tell me more about that. He gets sent home by mom. Right? What, what, what's that? I think that's one of the hard things that we all, I mean, we're all here because we're coaching our kids, right? It's the hardest part of coaching our kids, your own kid. Okay, I'll tell you what. That, that is a, <laughs> that's a great topic. It's I'm going to try to leave a little time on that one, Damon, okay. to explore coaching your own child and how we make that a good experience. The kind of experience that Tanner had with his dad and a, a good experience for all the kids and families involved, okay? Damon, help me remember that as we get Absolutely. to the last 15 minutes if we haven't gotten there yet. Okay, so that center circle, the positive sports culture, that's what Novato South Little League takes pride in. It's why Novato South Little League has asked you to invest a couple of hours of your time here tonight. Okay, and that's, that's the target. In order, we can't hit that target without double goal coaches. You guys are, are uh, instrumental. But who else impacts the culture here in the, at the games and on the fields? Parents. <laughs> do parents have an impact? Yeah. They sure do. Okay, And um, I'll be back Thursday night talking to the parents. And what we're going to emphasize with the parents, we're not going to say, hey, mom and dad, we want you to be double goal parents. We're going to ask them to be second goal parents. Leave the winning, the striving for victory to the coaches and the players. Where we think you, mom and dad, can have the greatest impact is by focusing on the second goal, the life lessons. Reinforcing the life lessons that you're trying to teach the kids, that baseball teaches kids. Second goal parent. We do workshops for high school age athletes where we teach them the triple impact competitor model. The triple impact competitor applies the principles of positive coaching, which we're going to explore today, to be, to make themselves better, to make their teammates better, and to make the game better. If you've got a bunch of triple impact competitors on your team, you're probably going to have an enjoyable season, probably going to win a lot of games. And then the leadership is critical too. Do, we, do you have culture-shaping leaders who don't just settle for whatever culture falls into their lap, but actually have a vision for what they want and a plan to get there? You, 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 you're, you're fortunate to coach an organization who's been working on that vision and plan for years now, and made, um, we're grateful that they've made PCA a part of it. So to have a positive sports culture, we want all four of these groups on the same page working towards the same goals. On the same page does not mean playing the same role. On the same page means playing their unique role, understanding their unique role, and carrying out their unique role. Here are the three principles of positive coaching, and we're gonna get into these right now. Um, some of you, somebody came in earlier when I was testing my sound and saw uh, the brief video clip, We Are Marshall, anybody seen that movie? Yeah, what's, what's it about, in a nutshell? Rebuilding the program. Based on a true story? Yeah. Okay, so the plane crash, half the, half the team and coaching staff. Here's a, here's a video clip. When you listen to this coach, I want you to think about what part of his message you agree with. What part do you agree with? 